Hi, Pisces. Welcome to the table. Let's see what's here for me. Shuffle a couple of times. Get the energy in the deck. I want to feel it buzzing. I want to feel it buzzing. Buzzing for Pisces. Pisces energy. Sun, moon, rising moon, and Venus. And um, I will be representing Pisces. So cross watchers, you're welcome to be here. But I am representing Pisces. My, If there's any bias, it will be towards the Pisces people. Because this reading is for them. All right, Pisces. Here we go. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow, Pisces. <laughs> a little bit of heaven right there. A little bit of heaven. Let's see. Let's see how the month ends. Let's see how the month ends. Let's see how the month ends for Pisces. The sun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to the bottom row. Chariot energy was trying to come out. Three of Pentacles. Okay, two threes. Two threes here for you. Eight of Pentacles. And Death Energy. Death Energy with the Sun. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, Pisces, before I get started with the reading, I do want to make a couple of just very quick announcements. I have two new products. They both are involving live calls, live Zoom sessions with me. I have one that's an emergency, um, well, I, I guess you could call it an emergency Zoom call, but it 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 is really um, because I don't like to plan my calendar out in the fu into the future. So if you purchase a one hour Zoom call with me, I will try to get it done with you within 24 hours. <laughs> that is just me. Um, I want to get right into the energy, get right into the situation, and we can meet right away. Um, so that's with the the 24 hour Zoom or the Zoom call done within 24 hours. And then I have a um, a group a group discount that I'm offering. If uh, four, uh, four to 12 of you want to get together in the same place, of course there would be a private space, a private office or a private bedroom or something, but if a small group of you want to get together, schedule a Zoom call with me, I can have um, some discounted rates for you. Um, so if you have a group of friends that all want a reading and you want to get together at the same place, um, make, you know, make sure that there's a private space for one, you know, we could do these one after another. They don't have to be done in a group. Um, but that one right after another in a quiet space, if you have a group of friends or family or something that all want to have readings, uh, reach out and I can send you over my discounted rates and we'll see if we can get that to happen. So those are my two new products. I'm doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one ener uh, energy readings and um, that's been very fulfilling and special for me and, and um, I'm excited about doing it. So I'm now getting back onto YouTube. Um, I'm healthy and excited about my work. So those, those are the announcements um, I have today. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and get into this reading Pisces and see what we have here for you. A beautiful, a beautiful spread on the table. Um, so there's a group of you that are really moving into a really nice, much more abundant space in life. Um, as you're coming into the month, you're in the three of wands. Um, you're excited about what you're doing. You're looking forward to improvements that are on their way. You're optimistic about um, life. And um, there's a, there's a kind of excitement. There's a kind of excitement that's, that's reverberating through you. Um, you have something here that you're working on, something that's in an initial phase. It, it has already been existing. It is already in existence, but you're working on refining the craft. And here you are continuing that as you're moving through the month. So there's something that you're working on. Um, it has the capacity to be quite abundant for you. And the sun is here as well. So um, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. And I think you're, you, you are um, uh, willing to do what it takes. You're industrious and ambitious. And, and there's a lot of encouragement around you because the three of 
Pentacles is it, it can be one person sometimes, but it can be a small group of people who are all working together. They're willing to learn from each other. They're willing to help one another. And there's a goal here to be uh, to be achieved. And, and there's put real potential of achieving that goal. Um, and we see you continuing in that momentum as you're moving through the month. You have three of Pentacles and the eight of Pentacles, really focusing on something that you're doing. And I think you're really excited about it. And as you're moving through the month, uh, the four of wands is here. So it does feel like life is kind of stabilizing. Um, you're feeling the comfort of home. Um, there is some security here that you're experiencing. And when, when we have the four of wands, there is, there is an acknowledgement. There is a, an acknowledgement that we find in our heart center that is, um, it connects in with the the wellness of life, the joy of life, the 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 milestone that we have achieved that helps us to 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 be secure and to be confident in our relationships, in our money making, in our community, and in the friends that we have, so that we're not worried about those very basic things. How does he feel about me? Or am I going to have a job tomorrow? Or um, am I going to be able to pay all my bills this month? When we have the four of wands, we know that we've reached a certain place. Um, it's not everything. It's not everything, but it does give us confidence and it allows us to, to expand ourselves out of those basic worries into new horizons, new dreams, new capacities. Um, and, and it comes with a, a strength of, a strength of character. I'm hearing coming through a strength of character is, is here as well in this Pisces group. And as you're moving through the month, you're staying in this lane of productivity. You're staying in this lane of working for betterment. And there's an excitement here. There's a focus. Uh, there's a driven energy in Pisces. Uh, this is a power month, a power month for Pisces. Um, and you can see that all the way through the energies, uh, uh, there is a situation here, Ace of Pentacles. There is a situation here, um, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. There is something here, something that is bringing in improvements. And these are very real experiences. They're coming with a lot of happiness. So, um, gosh, I mean, it, this could be a promotion. This could be... Uh, some of you could be getting engaged. Some of you could be um receiving the keys to a new home i mean this is what we have going on here ace of pentacles with the ten of cups there could be a person around you also involved very much so a lot of times this energy here at the top connects in with situations around you so this uh this experience that you're having and this project that you're working on um, could affect a client it could have a connection with a new client, with a new company. Uh, it could be connecting you into a new home. Um, there could be a new relationship here. There could be a merging of households. Whatever it is, it's happiness, it's bliss, it's unity and harmony. And these are, oh my gosh, these, okay, Jody, calm down. <laughs> um, but honestly, um, if, if those of you who know tarot know that th this combination <laughs> is is beautiful it will bring it will bring tears to your eyes it will swell your heart center up it it's it's happy it's happiness in the bank account and happiness in the heart and it can't get much better than that i mean we can we can pull in the ten of pentacles if we want um, but we have the sun here <laughs> so yes pisces um it, it's going to feel good for those of you connecting into this energy it, there there is a lot of um there's a lot to be appreciated uh, um, this month, and I can really feel that kind of energy. Um, this is what happens when we connect into the fire, into the fire of our hearts and the fire of our willingness um, to, to achieve. And that's what Pisces really has done here. Now, as you're moving out, you're in the death energy. So it's a very odd card to come in, but I think that you really have accepted something. <laughs> Sometimes it's accepting the goodness that the universe hands down. Sometimes it's accepting a skill that you have. Sometimes it's, it's accepting a situation, right? Rather than fighting it, um, you are, you're accepting it and moving forward into some sort of glorious future. At one point, you might have fought against this, or you might have been unwilling for this, or you might have thought it was something that you couldn't do. But the death energy is succumbing. It's surrendering. 
And look what you get a surrender to. You get a surrender to the sun, which is surrendering to what the universe has given you. And in all of its glory, in all of its healing, in all of its empowerment, you're moving out of the month in the sun energy, knowing that the future is golden for you. The future is golden for you. I forget that there's this Ace of Pentacles is here. Um, yeah, there's an Ace of Pentacles that's here too. I don't want to lose it behind the Ten of Cups. Because ultimately, the Ace of Pentacles is what really is shining here for you. It brings a feeling of the Ten of Cups, but it's the Ace of Pentacles uh, that is that is the, the golden ticket. And then you have the Sun Energy, which is sending you forth into, into, um, into goodness. Um, let's go ahead and, and dig into some of these energies and see if we can get just a little bit more information for you, Pisces. Um, let's see what more information of something that you're working on here, something that you're working on. Just a little bit more information. Just one card. Just wanna, just interested in this Three of Pentacles. I mean, it is a catalyst energy. It's a catalyst energy. Let's see here what we have with the Three of Pentacles. King of King of Pentacles. Damn. I mean, King of Pentacles makes great decisions. He works hard. He knows when to apply himself. He knows when the ka is available. Uh, he not only works for today, he works for tomorrow, and he works for his long-term future. He makes good decisions. Um, and you could be doing this in a masculine energy. You could very well be doing this in a masculine energy, um, looking at the big picture, uh, learning the big things. Now, as you move forward and as you um, refine your craft or uh, as you kind of get this project going, then you can start looking at those smaller details, right? It really is now about, you know, for this guy, I'm just making this up out of, you know, uh, it really is about, okay, what kind of wood do I like to work with? What kind of tools are my favorite tools? Um, what kind of chair do I want to sit on? How do I hold my body, right? What kind of food do I eat when I'm doing this? What are my hours, right? And then as those things are determined, then you're like, okay, let me see if I can get this here. I've never done this before, but let's see if I can get a special curlicue in here, or let me see if, what kind of design I like, or um, what kind of tool does this curve, and what kind of tool does that curve? You know, it's it's like um, it's a King of Pentacles. So now you're probably looking at um, the bigger things, right? Let's go ahead and. Um, I, I'm, I'm interested in this Ace of Pentacles. So we have an Ace of Pentacles here. We have an improvement here. This is really an improvement. Like it's the real deal. It's not an idea. It's not an exciting spur of the moment, you know, adventure. It's something that's very real. That's that you get this by your reputation, by your hard work, by the skill and craft um, that you bring um, into the into the workplace or into the community. You get this through your own efforts. Uh, and when it comes in and when you connect in with it, it really does bring in uh, something quite nice. So let's go into the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and see if we can get more information about that. Let's get, oh, geez. World energy. Damn. A new beginning, and here's the ending with the death energy. <laughs> you know, or the beginning, right? Um, two beginning energies here. The world energy and the death energy. Rebirth. Rebirth, and here is a sun. Wow. Let's go into the sun energy. Put your sunglasses on. We're going to go into the sun. Here we go. Buckle up. Buckle up, my friends. <laughs> Tell me more about the sun energy. <laughs> Tell me more about the sun. Chariot. Chariot. It's moving forward. You're moving forward. We have the King of Cups. So this is really about um, creating a, a better uh, a better life, a healthier life. Um, you could be doing something with the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a masculine. Um, so if there are people around you, I think people are supporting you. I think people are moving forward with you. But ultimately, this is going to help to bring in a better situation. King of Cups, he's very useful. Um, he's emotionally connected and the chariot energy is also a, a watery energy too. 
So we have a lot of emotion here that I feel instead of fear, which maybe uh, two years ago or three years ago, you would have been in this energy, in an energy of fear. But do you know in the last couple of years, a lot of our fear has been purged. Our fear of sickness, our fear of poverty, our fear of all kinds of things. We have really burned through a lot of our old fears. And so um, uh, you're connecting to this forward movement. You're connecting to the sun energy. You're connecting in to this new betterment in an energy of enjoyment, in an energy of empowerment, um, the will to survive, the will to make it through. That kind of strength is here. So um, it, it's a little bit different energy than it would have been a couple of years ago. And I think that those of you that are here and are connecting in um, to this energy are, are, I know that you're agreeing with me. I can feel that here. Um, very beautiful, abundant energies, Pisces. So um, good, good job. Um, I want to go in now that we're at the end of the reading. So the reading in, in formality is over. I'm going to pull some sticker cards. So those of you that like the sticker cards, you can stay if you want to see the sticker cards. It's just pictures and different ideas, different images that we pull for this kind of energy. So if you're interested in that, you can stay. And the rest of you, um, yeah. It, um, uh, wishing you guys the best. Have a wonderful month. This is beautiful energy. Lots of capacities here. Uh, so it's great. Now we're going to go into the sticker cards. There's a lot of cards here. I'm only going to go through this once and we'll see what kind of cards, what kind of images drop out for this Pisces group that are here enjoying this really beautiful bounding forward kind of energy. Bounding forward is, is, um, is what spirit I'm hearing coming through. Bounding forward. Okay, here we go. Images for Pisces connecting into this energy. We'll see if there, there's already one. I was going to say, maybe there aren't any, you know, maybe there aren't any, but we'll see here. Images for Pisces that are relevant. I might, I must not have that many that are relevant. There's, it, it feels like the world energy, doesn't it? The world energy on top of the world energy. So this is expanding horizons, new opportunities. Yeah. Spirit is basically saying it's the world energy. We also have communication coming forward. Artistry, writing, travel. There's a vintage kind of energy here. Doesn't it feel like a little bit vintage? And then we have, and this also feels vintage, doesn't it? But we have the world energy on this card. Travel, moving from one place to another, homeland energy, starting a new life. That's what we have coming out for Pisces. All right, my friends, that is your month. What a beautiful spread of energy. Wishing you guys all the best. Go get them. Go get them, Pisces. All right, have a good month. Thank you.